In this video, I want to talk a little bit about prokaryotic transcription and the way transcription is regulated in prokaryotes. So, is gene expression controlled at the transcriptional level? If so, how? Well, the answer, of course, is yes, and how is what we're getting at in this video. So, when it comes to gene expression in prokaryotes, the gene expression is either regulated or constitutive. Now, constitutive, the definition is pretty simple. Uh, essentially, what is going on in constitutive gene expression is that transcription of that particular gene is on always. That's what constitutive means. Transcription of that particular gene will always be on regardless of changes in the cell's environment. Now this is just sort of a general idea that if a gene is a constitutive gene that means it will always be transcribed. It won't be regulated in any way. But if a gene is regulated Transcription could be on or off, and it can depend on something. Now, what does it depend on? It depends on changes in the cell's environment. So when we think about regulated genes, there are generally speaking two subcategories. There are inducible systems and repressible systems. Now, when you think about inducible, I mean, you think about the word induce, and what does induce mean? When I think induce, I think to make something happen or to turn something on. So in inducible systems, transcription is normally off, but it can be induced, right? It can be turned on. That's what inducible systems are like. So in the case of inducible systems, transcription will normally be off and it can be turned on. An example of an inducible system is something that we'll talk about, the lac operon in bacteria. There are also repressible systems. Now in repressible systems, again, what do you think about when you think repress? When I think repress, I think it means to stop or to turn off. So if, if it can be stopped or can be turned off, that means it's normally on. So a repressible system, that gene, transcription of that gene will normally be on, but it can be turned off. That's its way of being regulated. And an example of a repressible system is the tryptophan operon or the terp operon, which we will also talk about in detail later. Hope that video was helpful in a sort of general overview and an introduction to transcriptional regulation in prokaryotes. I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com and see the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.